Welcome to the field guide to testing de-icing chemicals. This video has been developed to walk you through the different types of field testing that can be done to evaluate de-icing chemicals and to provide guidance on what data should be collected with each test. Clear Roads is making this video available as part of our mission to promote rigorous testing of winter maintenance materials, equipment, and methods for use by highway maintenance crews. Through the study and promotion of innovative techniques and technologies, Clear Roads seeks to save agencies money, improve safety, and increase efficiency. Field testing of de-icing chemicals can range from very simple tests done near the maintenance garage to full-scale side-by-side -side comparisons using sensors, cameras, and other instrumentation to measure differences in how the de-icers react on the roadway. The following are three types of field testing that can be performed to determine the effectiveness of a de-icing chemical. The simple garage test is used to test and evaluate de-icers in the parking lot or on a sidewalk away from traffic to observe how the de-icers work. Testing can be a simple observation of one de-icer or a comparison of two or more de-icers. The single roadway test is used to test and evaluate a single de-icing chemical under normal traffic conditions during a winter storm. The test is typically done to determine how changes in application rates of existing de-icers or new de-icers will work. A side-by-side -side test is where a known or controlled de-icer is compared to a test de-icer in a side-by-side -side evaluation. Each of these test types will be explained in detail in the chapters of this video. Within each chapter, you will find subgroups of information to help you design de-icing test procedures. These subgroups include Roadway Environment – Determining where to conduct a de-icing chemical test Weather – How weather can influence a field test and also what weather information should be collected Truck and Spreading Equipment determining what trucks and spreading equipment are needed for de-icing chemical testing and how to use the spreaders during the tests. Testing material, how to stockpile and use the de-icing chemicals involved in the tests. Data collection tools, what information should be collected during the testing period, how often the tests need to be done, and what tools are needed to get quality results. One of the most important things to remember when conducting a field test with de-icing chemicals is to minimize other variables at test locations that might change the results of the tests. Try to make sure the de-icing chemical is the only variable that changes during the evaluation period. Let's say you test one de-icing chemical on an asphalt road and another de-icing chemical on a concrete roadway. The type of roadway will probably make more of a difference in the results than the different de-icers. The same may happen if you have two trucks testing different de-icing chemicals. If one of the trucks used in the tests is not properly calibrated, it could be applying more de-icing chemical than the other test truck. There's a good chance the test will show the de-icing chemical being spread by the uncalibrated truck performed better than the other de-icing chemical. But the result would be based on the over-application of de-icing chemical rather than the improved performance of one de-icer over another. The more variables you can eliminate or minimize, the more accurate the test results will be. If you can't eliminate all the variables that could affect the outcome of the tests, the remaining variables should be noted in the final report. 